This is the best game in the world. Dad says it's a bit violent. Like I don't know the difference between bad guys on here and them out there. I know which one teaches me more about violence and it's not these. I hate living here. I hate school. I hate this house. I hate my dad. I don't hate me dad. I just want to be better. It's an hour past when I'm meant to be in bed and he's not even in. He's at work again because of all the money he owes. I don't even know why he bothers. He'll never earn enough to get straight again. He took me Xbox. Not me dad. The money man. If he'd taken it to sell and pay for some of dad's loan, I wouldn't have minded, but he just smashed it. Dad didn't think I was awake, but I was. The man said, next time won't be your lad's computer game I'll smash. It'll be his face. It's Thursday. This is where I spend Thursday. He comes round on his way to his pub, and he comes back on his way home. Dad's out at work. He says, to keep the chain on and pretend to be out. How does that work? He's just worried. <laughs> Oi! Do you know what I'm going to start doing, boy? I'm going to start coming around when you least expect it. You're going to be living behind that sofa. What's he teaching you about money, eh? You have to pay your debts. It's as simple as that. <laughs> ah, you can come out now. If it would help. I'd give the money man my, my telly, my games, even my new trainers. But that's not what he wants. He wants more. He wants everything. That's impossible. Dad knows it's impossible. He's just... Too scared to fight back. My teacher talked to us about loan sharks in school the other day. I think I should tell someone about the money man. If someone comes to you and reports that they're being threatened because they owe money, Introduce the victim to the illegal money lending team. It's part of our job to work with the victims and the IMLT to stop loan sharks from operating in our communities because things can get very bad very quickly. Often we'll be approached at the stage when the victim is already experiencing antisocial behaviour from the loan shark, threats and assault, even blackmail or robbery. Loan sharks will often keep their victims frightened by using physical violence and taking goods from the victim's home when their money runs out. Loan sharks have also been found guilty of kidnapping and rape, both tactics used to keep victims in their place. On the flip side of all that, victims are themselves sometimes forced into crime because they can't earn enough money to pay the loan sharks back. Some victims are forced into shoplifting, drug running and prostitution. So you see, loan sharking is rarely just about borrowing money. The illegal money lending team are dedicated experts, specially trained to deal with loan sharks and their victims. They'll listen anonymously and confidentially. They prosecute the illegal money lenders themselves instead of using the CPS. They have the power to wipe out debts and confiscate the proceeds of crime. But it all starts with the victim being brave enough and confident enough to come to us in the first place. So we have to make sure that the communities we're protecting know that we're on their side. <laughs>